Hello and welcome to Music Lessons with Tony Valley. Today we're going to be working on a Robert Plant song, Big Log. In today's lesson, I'm going to start right from the intro of the song and I'm going to play it slow first. I'll speed it up and then we're going to break it down. That's the first part and half of the intro right there. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Let's start right from the beginning. We're going to break this down. Your first finger is going to be on that first fret sixth string, and you're going to hit that first note, and then put your third finger on the third fret and slide up to the fifth fret. Okay, so let's do that first part right there. One, three, five. Okay. When you hit that three, you're going to slide right up to the fifth fret right away. Okay, you're not going to hit the. You're not going to hit it twice. So you're going to go. Then you're going to move over to the fifth string with your first finger and hit that third fret. Then put your third finger on the fifth fret, fifth string, and then hit the open fifth string. All right. So right before that first chord, we're going to go one, one, three, five, three, five, O, oh. and then we're going to hit an A minor seven. And that A minor seven is with the first finger on the first fret, second string, and the second finger on the second fret, fourth string. And you're going to strike it on the upstroke. And you're only going to hit the second, third, and fourth string. So it's going to sound like this. Okay? And you're going to do that twice for the intro. So it'll go. And before you play the next section, you're going to let that ring out right there, the A minor 7. It's, it's different than the A minor. The A minor has the third finger on there. You don't want that on there. Definitely get that open G string in there. Then you're gonna do it again, one, three, five, three, five, zero. But now you're gonna hit the A minor seven on the down. Okay. So the first section. Okay, that's the A minor seven right there. All right, let's try the first section here. The single notes. All right, that's gonna be on the 2nd fret, 4th string with your 1st finger and then just lean over your 1st finger and just kind of bar it and hit that 2nd fret, 3rd string. So you're going to go 2, 2, then you're going to hit your 4th fret, 3rd string, then 5th fret, 3rd string. So it's going to go, then just go 4, 5 on the 3rd string, 4th, 5th fret. So. And again, I'm using my first finger to bar, then using my third, and moving up my third finger, and using my third and second for the, right there, the five, four, five, okay? Now, after that, it's gonna slide from the fifth fret to the seventh fret. So let's put those parts together there. Two, two, four, five, four, five, slide to the seven. You're gonna slide with that third finger there, okay? Then move your first finger back down to the fifth fret, third string, and hit the five seven on the third string with your first and third finger. So again from the slide, then five seven. Okay, so let's put those parts together. And at that point, you're gonna hit that seven again, you're gonna slide from the seven to the nine on that third string still. 
All right. So let's do that again. All right. Now the next sections, you're going to put your third finger on the third string, seventh fret, and you're going to do a full bend and release. And you're going to be on that seventh fret using the third string. All right. So right there, you got. Then move your first finger down to the fifth fret. 4th fret, 2nd fret, 4th fret, and again that's all on the 3rd string. So let's do that bend again and release, alright, and the next part is going to go 5, 4, and this is still all on the 3rd string, I'm going to use my 2nd and 1st finger, but when you hit that 4 you're going to have to hammer on and pull off from the 4 to the 5 and back down to the 4. So this is going to be 4, 5, 4. So you're only going to hit the first note, the 4, hammer onto the 5, and then pull off back to the 4. So it'll go. So practice that right there. And again, I'm not striking the notes after the initial 4. Hammer on, pull off. And if you don't know what hammer on is, you're hammering on with the finger to make the sound without picking it. And then pulling off, just as it says, pulling off. You want to make sure to pull the string. Don't just release your finger. Pull the string so it'll actually make the sound. And at that point, from there, you're going to move down to the second fret with your first finger, and then up to the fourth fret with your third finger, still on the third string. So let's go back. And start from the bend and release. And on this next section right here, you're going to put your third finger on the fifth fret, third string. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to hit that string right there, but we're going to do a full bend. And we're going to bend it up and hit it four times. One, two, three, four. Then hit and release, okay? I'm going to play that together right there so you can hear it. It's going to go... Okay? So it's 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 and release. Then 4th fret with the 3rd finger. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull off to the 2nd. So you're going to use your 3rd finger and your 1st finger. And you're going to have your first finger set right there on that second fret, and this is all on the third string. And you're going to go four to two, pull off, then open third string, and then to the second fret, same string. So let's do that again from the bend. All right. All right. There we go. We're going to go back now to that bend and release. time for that bend and release. All right. All right, that's going to be it for today. The next time we're going to be going into the second part of the intro. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to email me at tonyvalley at tonyvalley.com and we'll see you for the next lesson.